For the Trudeau government, gender equality has long been a stated priority, and the same is true for Canada's presidency of the G7. An oft-quoted statistic is from the McKinsey Global Institute, which says that advancing women's equality could contribute $12 trillion to the global economy by 2025. With that in mind, Canada's goal at the G7 is to have women's equality reflected in all its themes and initiatives. Whether it's international aid and, and development issues, whether it's finance and the economy, whether it's security, um, addressing the gender perspective in all of those um, has been so far a really important and a very productive part of the conversation because I don't think we can get anywhere if we just talk about the issue and then say at the end of it, oh yeah, and then what about the gender perspective? It has to become an integral part of what we do. The role of women in decision making uh, would change the complex to some extent of how decisions are made. I'm not suggesting necessarily that no one would ever go to war with one another, but, but there is a factor where I think the role of women in decision making would be very important. One of the big focuses is going to be on uh, educating women and girls in crisis areas because we do a good job of education in general, we do a good job of humanitarian support uh, in crisis areas, but that education in crisis areas like refugee camps or failed states is one of the hardest things to do and we need to be investing in that. I'm really, really proud of Canada for um, making a goal for themselves that they're going to g make a gendered approach to humanitarian assistance and they've actually quoted that um, they're going to focus on making it 95% of their humanitarian assistance to be gendered and I'm just extremely proud of that and I really hope that you know, Canada encourages or Canada inspires other countries um, to take a more gendered approach to their foreign policy making process. Women uh, need to be involved in uh, the conversations about uh, peace building, about negotiating peace agreements, about uh, rehabilitation and reintegration of fighters, about sexual violence in conflict. Um, and if all those things are done, then the, pieces, the, the, the peace that we build will be much stronger and, and will last longer. And you can say that about every single one of these sectors. Mm -hmm.